sun come out? Dang. You're right. But it still sucks.
I'm back from trapping the biters. How did it go? The traps are pretty clever. Excellent. They will come in handy when I have large batches of medicine to make. In the meantime, you did well. Here's your compensation. Any new requests? I've just run out of a key ingredient to soothe and repair serious burns. Sounds important. Quite. I need tissue from a bolter, but not any common bolter will do. Fortunately, one that suits my needs was sighted quite nearby. They tend to keep to the roofs. 
So watch your step. Got it. container detected. Yeah. greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people.
It is, it is. Be quiet, I'm transmitting. Liquidator, come in. Liquidator, come in. Give me that. You don't know how to do it. You have to hold the button while you speak. Back off. I'm holding it, aren't I? Do I look like that monkey, Kyle? I know how it works, Vatin. Liquidator, come in. And nothing. Ha! <laughs> Got to hold the button. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, liquidator, if you can hear us, we have remodeled the car according to your blueprint. <laughs> More like according to Dr. Emmett's blueprint. Whatever, Tolga. What's important is it seems to be working. We're ready to make the leap. We'll be waiting in the designated B613 region. See you there.
meaning of this? Don't you know the law? Hurt? Leave me alone. You've got to trust us. We want to help you. I've seen how you help people. Help oppress the people of the We provide. Fuck your order. This isn't the time.
Here are the tissue specimens you needed. In such fine condition, as if surgically removed. Eh, skinned plenty of animals during my time as a pilgrim. It shows. And now your well-deserved compensation. Running low on anything? Indeed. But one moment, please. No. Take that salve and rub it on your husband's arms under a full moon. His affliction should subside by the dawn of the second day. Thank you, Baba. Ooh, under a full moon? No offense, but that sounds like fairy tale bullshit. And being out at night is dangerous. Listen now. Hush, Corvus. A closed mind cannot be opened with threats of violence. Hey, it's not closed-minded to be concerned about people's safety. A full moon can be seen through a window. That is sufficient. Now do you want another hunt or not? A rare creature has been spotted. Bring me its spleen and its liver, and only the spleen and liver of this single creature. How will I recognize it? Don't worry. You will most certainly know it when you see it. Oh, and it won't be alone. Nothing worse than the infected. Today, I'm not so sure. Renegade. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
What happened? Where's Match? He says he's not coming back. Doesn't want to work for you anymore. What's he mean, Hugh? None of your business! You made it my business when you sent me after Match. Got me there. So what exactly are you doing with these kids, Hugh? Match seemed desperate not to come back. Fine, I'll tell you. I'm training them to survive. Come again? I taught him to steal and spy. For you? For anyone who pays. Are you crazy, Hugh? If the peacekeepers catch them, they'll have no mercy. 
That's the first thing I teach them. How not to get caught. It's a fucked up world, Pilgrim. No one's gonna go easy on these orphans. I'm living proof of that. I teach them how to survive. Isn't that what fathers do for their children? Match doesn't understand that. Not, not now. He's at that rebellious age. When he makes it in the city, he'll realize it's because I prepared him. You're not gonna go after him? I'm not holding anyone here. We're family. Jack Matt deals with these damn renegades. Don't want my name ending up in some memorial down in the streets. Howdy, soldier. could only trust other PKs, but you came through. Thanks.
gonna enjoy killing you. Here are the organs you requested. Are you sure they are from the right creature? Uh, there was no mistake in that monster. But uh, you're the Baba. You tell me if I got it the right one. Yes, I can already tell. You did indeed. I was just curious to know if you'd come across another creature I've heard about. No matter. Here is your reward. I have no more hunts for you right now. You've done very well. And I hope to have more work for you soon. Thanks. So, um, what's with Corvus, anyway? You seem an odd pair. Corvus saved my life. He intervened during a violent robbery. He has been my protector ever since. Hmm. I see. I'm trying to find something for you to hunt. I will let you know. Serious. What the hell is that? Come on, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> 
was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Villador. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Waltz? Waltz? We don't need Waltz to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Got him! How far away is it time to say goodbye to you? Uh, 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 uh,
Aiden. Aiden? You all right? I think so. Yeah. Walsh wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off. But the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Waltz is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Villador? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well, that's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, and maybe you know something about Luan, too. What do you mean, something more? I'm afraid she's found a lead on Hakon, and she means to hunt him again. Which means she could get herself into trouble. Do you know what really made the Night Runner special, Aiden? I mean, true heroes? It wasn't the inhibitors, not the strength or speed they granted us. For the Night Runners, it was balance that set us apart. Self-control. That's why Lawan couldn't become a Night Runner. Not because she was too young. She was the fastest, braver than a lot of my men. But she couldn't achieve balance. Um, self-control. This should be good. Don't laugh. We used inhibitors, but they didn't use us. We had a focus on mental and emotional strength, not just physical abilities. Balance. Physical strength is important, but it's what you do with it that determines what kind of human being you are. That's why Hakon's betrayal hurt us so much. Why do you think he knows anything about Luan? First of all, because she was after him. But also, because it's much more complicated than that. You see, the last time she went off radar like this was when this fucker dumped her. So if she's not answering now, I'm getting really worried this is something more, and Hakon could be involved. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Lawan. Just remember, they're listening to you too. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck. Jack Matt deals with these damn renegades. 
I need your help replenishing my stock.
My name is Manfred. You don't even know how lucky it is that you've come along, Pilgrim. Let's find out. I have made contact with one of China's satellites, which are still in orbit. Ha! Huh. Yes, yes. I know that look. You're excited, too. Wow! How did you do that? I constructed a device that boosts the range of the radio tower's receiver, so that it can receive signals beamed from the satellites. I was able to send a message, and someone answered me. I mean, the reply was garbled, and I didn't understand anything, of course, but... Do you realize what this means? There are others with electricity, technology. They can help us, or we can help them. Only, I was preparing a response to the last message when... I was attacked by infected. 
Head down south on Lower Dam Promenade. You'll see there are two buildings connected by an overhead walkway. You need to clear the roof of the one on the south. There's a radio tower on it. Please, I've been working on this for years. I got you. Just let me think about it. Thank you. As soon as you get rid of them, radio me and I'll come join you. Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire's still smoldering. Hey, then. Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Sounds like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. He's still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Try taking it from me, Hakon. I'll do my best. Promise. Get that key from him!
Not bad, kiddo. You've made quite a name for yourself in this shithole. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... To all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. Hakon! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time! people have you betrayed, Hakon? Killian? Frank? Luan? Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? <laughs> Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. <laughs> I didn't want 
want this. Frank? It's Aiden. Hakon's dead. Oh, fuck no. I knew this would happen. Well, come back to the fisheye. I overheard something more about Waltz. He's heading to Old Villador, Aiden. The person he tracked down is a GRE doctor. Is that related to the database? Yes. And I think I know the person he's after. I'll try to use the radio to reach her first. I'm taking that key, Aiden. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. Uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. Do the Night Runners mean nothing to you? Don't you want to make things right, Hakon? There's nothing to make right anymore. The Night Runners are long gone. No matter what Frank says, he ain't gonna raise the dead. <sighs> Although it's a nice dream. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back, but I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. Come any closer, and I'll have no choice, Hakon. You... you killed him? It's what you wanted. After all this time hunting him, he's finally dead. Thought I'd be looking him straight in the eye before I put a bolt through it. But now... he's just another body on the ground and a name checked off my list. Are you okay, Luan? I... can't even begin to know how to feel about this. He seems so... vulnerable now. Can I help you with anything, or...? No, it's okay. I've just... waited so long for this to end, now... I need to be alone for a while. Rest in peace, Hakon. Frank? Where you been, kid? Waiting for you at the fisheye. Get over here. What about Hakon? There was no saving him, Frank. I see you here. Come to the canteen, Aiden. We'll talk. I've got some news for you.
Hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Got any new rare monsters lurking out there? Yes, there are. I've gotten reports of a monster prized for the fluid contained in its eyeballs. Ooh, I can already see where this is going. Yes. You must bring me this creature's eyeballs. Take care with them, for they must remain intact until I am ready to use the fluid in a potion. Keep the eyeballs intact. Got it. Uh, by the way, is everything okay between you and Corvus? We're fine. I'm more concerned about you. Rumors of a singularly dangerous monster have reached me. Watch your back as you hunt. Go to the location I've marked. Container detected. 
chess. And what's happening between renegades and PKs is called a stalemate. I'm around if you need me, friend. <laughs>
Here are your... You'd do well to remember our arrangement, woman. Not now. The Bobber and I are speaking. 
We'll finish later, Corvus. No need to make the young man wait while we argue. Fine. But take care you heed my words. Mm, problems? None of your business. You need not be concerned. All right, as you wish. Here they are. Those eyes you sent me after? In perfect condition, too. You deserve every bit of this reward. What can I get for you, Baba? Your tone grows too familiar. Know your place, boy. Carvath, don't be rude. Your own tone could use some improvement. Do you not remember your place, witch? Must I remind you yet again? All right, what's with you two? Yeah, something's going on, and I want to know what it is. It remains none of your concern. Corvus is right. We should stick to business. And I have another large order to fulfill. That means I'll be trapping, not collecting. Precisely. Go to the GRE Island, and you'll find a large swarm of virals. I need you to catch two creatures in the trap. Two and one. Got it. Supply already set up the trap. And don't get cocky. Them beastlies will surely give you a run for your money. And running's all I know, Baba. Deliver to PK command. Let's go, soldiers. Ugh. don't have to yell like that, you know? I'm standing right here. What are you demanding of me? What? I said you were yelling at me. Why would I be rebelling against you, Pilgrim? What? What are you talking about? Just stop shouting at me! I'm sorry. I'm a bit hard of hearing. Oh, no, I get it. I'm Pete. I was supposed to infiltrate a renegade camp. I'm on a mission. 
given to me by Jack himself. If I save a survivor who's been kidnapped, they'll make me a peacekeeper. But I'm afraid. I'm not surprised. Now, about those renegades. No, no I'm afraid of them. Afraid because of my hearing, I'll miss something and royally fuck up. I've already been booted from supply. I was operating the loader and didn't hear it when people started shouting it. Well, long story short, I dropped a crate on someone. And did you... <sighs> Ouch. Do the PKs know you have problems with your hearing? Well, you know what? Luckily, the PK know I can't hear. They want to give me a desk job. Aha! I have to go to the old bridge at the end of Lower Dam Air. Go there instead of me, Pilgrim. I need this win. I'll reward you. Let me think about it. Thanks, man. The prisoner, uh, a rather tasty one, I'm told, is being held in a shed near the flag tower. I'll be waiting for you at the windmill across the river.
Ah! <laughs> 
Aiden, how did it go? Two frothing virals, packaged and ready for delivery. That's wonderful. I can make all manner of potions and medications from their live organs. You saved many a life today, Aiden. Villador, what's left of it, is grateful. Well, oh, it's all in a night's work. Uh, what monster guts do you need today? The sweat glands of a rarely seen creature. Rarely seen, but recently seen, I gather. Very recently. It's hard to miss, too, when it comes out at night. With the secretions from those glands, I can make all manner of sense to both attract and repel the infected. But watch out, Aiden. This one only comes out at night. And that's not even half of what might shock you when you encounter it. Intriguing. <laughs> Be back soon. Regular shops. How may I serve you, citizen? So, the price was right? Good work, citizen. Man, you got some good shit. Enjoy your new... Your stuff. I need to get myself a new weapon at the armor breed. This Everything all right? Out. You seem kind of scatterbrained.
Here are those sweat glands, and you were right. The hunt was electrifying. Hey, you should have come with me, Corvus. Maybe getting shocked by one of those things would lighten you up. Speak to me that way at your peril. I wouldn't tease Corvus like that. You'd best just take your reward and go. What have you got for me? I have a customer here with a direct request. My name is Harlan. The Baba has told me about you. About your bravery in procuring rare ingredients. I do what I'm paid to do. Nothing special. Oh, but you're wrong. The Baba, she saves people. And since you help her, that means you save people too. So what do you need? My father. He's dying. A blood parasite. The Baba, she says she can help, but... She needs some very rare ingredients. Right, so I'll go get them. Like I said, nothing special. But this is very dangerous. Too dangerous. I could not let the Baba ask on my behalf. I, I wouldn't feel right, even to save my own father, if I didn't ask you myself. What's so dangerous about this hunt? 
Remember the demolisher and the goon you hunted for me some time ago? It turns out there are two more of them in the city. And I need tissue from both of them if I am to save Harlan's father. I am so sorry to ask this of you. It's all right, Harlan. Eden will help. Now, go be with your father. Yes, of course. You're right, Baba. Another pair of mutated infected, huh? Hunt them down, Aiden. You will be doing a favor both to Harlan and many other residents by getting rid of those abominations. Leave it to me.
power is key Probably to winning the war. I brought the tissue for Harlan's father. You managed to kill both of them. Good. This will work, Monat. I do hope so, but this is medicine, not magic. We can only do our best and hope it is enough. Wait, not magic? Where'd the witch act go? You'll have to trust me. Just take your money and leave me to my work. Do as the Baba says. I'm trying to find something for you to hunt. I will let you know.
Father's mail has finally arrived. My goods, but everyone shop away. That could save you in a pinch. A man of taste. Who doesn't need one of those? Finally, a smart shopper. That'll be nothing but help. You recognize the PK's best stuff, don't you? I love doing business with customers like you. I got your six. Move on, soldier. for someone? Ah, Aiden. You might come in handy. Yes, one of my men deserted his post. Ah, that's serious. Who was it? That's what pisses me off. It was a friend, a guy named Bart. Maybe it's my fault. I know he had it rough here. I tried to protect him. I guess it wasn't enough. You protect him? From who? The other soldiers. They... Had a problem with him. Which was? Their problem, not Bart's. Believe me, I know what it's like to be the odd man, or woman, out in old school military culture. But here's my problem. Desertion alone will get him the death penalty. But what he took could get others, good men, killed. What did he steal? Let's call it a map. That's all I can tell you. The rest is on a need-to-know basis only. And you don't need to know. You need me to track him down? Yes. With everything going on, I just don't have the manpower to spare. But I must get that map back. Okay, I get the map. But what about Bart? When you bring the map back, just tell me where he is and leave the rest to me. It's my job. Okay, where should I start looking? Try his bunk. It's in the barracks, a deck above us. Can I ask anyone about Bart? Sure. He was pretty well known, whether he liked it or not. He was popular among the new recruits. Try asking Mateo. He's usually hanging around the armory. Then there's Magda. Never had a kind word to say about Bart. Or anyone, for that matter. She works in the hospital on the next floor. Okay. I think I can take it from here. Good luck, Aiden. I remember when you got the whole squad together for my birthday. Excuse me, what is this place? How can you not know? Wait. Are you that pilgrim? 
It depends. He must have been on the VNC Tower mission. My name is Kyra. I'm Leon's wife. Leon? My condolences. He was a great man, an excellent soldier. Like everyone in Squad 404. Squad 404? Haven't you heard of them? They were legendary. They were the ones who helped get Frank out of the VNC Tower. They were the ones who defended the Missy when the infected got inside. They were role models for every PK. And at this point, we should honor their memory. How do you know Squad 404 so well? I was their radio operator. I heard the last blows they got. And their last words. I can still hear them. In my dreams. But that's a good thing, you know? Because we mustn't forget them. And this place. The PK should honor their memory here, just like they did with the others who fell. Yeah, I know what you mean. To remember. It's our duty. Pilgrim. May I ask something of you? Will you help me? Collect them. Collect all the dog tags of Squad 404. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You already met some of them. Fitzbowski, Chris, and Lieutenant Rowe in the VNC Tower. I already got the dog tags from the men in the VNC Tower. As for the rest of the squad, here are the action reports. You already know what to do. I'm sure the brothers and sister would like to be reunited. Can't imagine this thing once sailed at sea. Hey, uh, you Mateo? We've met. New Dawn Park. You were looking for Lieutenant Rowe. You saved me from the renegades. Oh, right. Uh, listen, Mateo. Meyer sent me. I'm looking for Bart. Bart? Uh, thanks for saving me and all, but I can't help you with Bart. I just want to... No, sorry. I haven't run across him for a while anyway. Try Garrett. I saw him walking toward the barracks. Jeez. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Trusted. It's like a you PK buffet of supplies, right? Television. Landed a big one. You netted a great item. Do come. You, Garrett? I'm trying to find Bart. I hear you know him. Maybe. That depends. You friend or foe? Uh, undecided. Cute. Listen, you can count me as one of Bart's friends. And as for those rumors that Bart's done something wrong, total bullshit. Bullshit? Give me a break. Whatever's going on, it's a setup. I'm sure the other PKs are behind this. Which PKs? throw a rock, you'd probably hit one, and it'd bounce off and hit another, and so on. 
How'd they set up one of their brothers like this? <laughs> Don't believe everything you hear about dignity and brotherhood around here. I see. So, you know where Bart might be? I don't. But even if I did, don't know if I'd tell you, Mr. Undecided. Right. Well, thanks for the insight. PK barracks are off limits to civilians. Find something? Hmm. You know anything about this? Not really, but it's good. Paul Cram work, if you ask me. Who drew it? Couldn't tell you. I've seen Bart with pictures like this off and on over the last year. But as far as I know, he doesn't have children of his own. Ah, children. Mine are all grown. Not all are still alive either, sadly. But I remember when they were young and happy, drawing constantly. They scribbled their way through boxes and boxes of crayons. The kid who drew that, he's a happy kid. Oh, if Bart doesn't have kids, where'd he get it? Probably child of a friend or something. He was kind to everyone. Here, there, everywhere. Unless you were a bully. Hmm. Oh, this doesn't help. Now what do I do? You might ask Stack over at the canteen. Seen them together a few times. Bart helped him when he was in some trouble. Helped everyone a lot. Thanks. I'll go talk to that stock.
Gulliker. Supplies running short. Hello, can you hear me? I don't know how much longer. Hello? Piece of crap. You're the one? I found an old radio. Someone needs help, but the signal's too weak, even on a roof. Okay, savior of the oppressed. Get closer to something that'll boost the signal. Ever hear of an antenna? Thanks, Luan. Try not to fall, okay? Hello, Lance. Can you hear me now? Locked up. Fucking electrical substation. Downtown. There's... chance. At the lowest level. The lowest level of the downtown electrical substation. Right, Lance? Oh, come on. Can you hear me? Infected. Infected are coming. I'm on my way. Hold on. What are you talking about? Who are you? You've been searching for your sister, haven't you? How do you know me? Your sister's in danger. You must hurry. My sister, you say? Yes, save her. Are you nuts? You, you, you can't be talking about my sister. What are you waiting for? You have to get to her before it's too late. Where am I going? Renegades are holding her in one of the condos on Prince Gabriel Passage, right by the old hotel. She'll die unless you get there. You have to save her. Don't just stand there like that. Save your sister. Okay, okay. I'm on my way. Lance, where are you? They almost got me. Please. But where? I, I can't see anything. Oh, gate. Blocked. There must be another entrance. Anyone. Please. Repeat. I need help. Can anyone hear me? I hear you.
Oh, shit. Looks like I'm too late. By a few years. This recording must have been made years ago. And when the electricity went on, it started playing in a loop. <laughs> Whoa. Can't be trusted. You showed your true colors with that VNC tower mission. <clears throat> Used to think there was nothing worse than the infected. Today, I'm not so sure. Doc, I was told you know Bart. Who doesn't know Bart? What's this all about, anyway? Now that's between Bart and me. Bart's my friend, buddy. If it involves Bart, it involves me. You want info? You're gonna tell me why you're looking for Bart. All right, fair enough. He left his post. He's accused of desertion. Son of a bitch. He finally went for it. Good for him. Good for them. If I were you, I'd just leave him be. We all should. This probably happened because Meyer can't keep a leash on her men. You hear any other bullshit about Bart? Um, he's been accused of theft. Well, that's nonsense, that is. Bart is honest as the day is long. He's got no reason to steal from anyone. And the CO doesn't want to believe it either. You mean Meyer? Hmm. That's all I've been told. Trust me, a lot of other PK have had it in for Bart since day one. Meyer's respected, mostly. But when it came to Bart, her men refused to follow her lead. I trust you, so I'll tell you this. 
Bart's loyal military, but he had another side. Like the outdoors, always out near the fields. Ask the field workers on top of the old office building at the intersection of Van Peel and St. Paul Boulevard. It's right here in New Dorn Park. Thanks, I'll do just that. Why don't you fuck off with your blue friends? Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. It's about the only time I I don't fall. talk to PK snitches. And I see a goddamn blue I take back everything I said about you, Pilgrim. You really helped us out there with the radio. Back off, kid. My sister found some weird tapes inside an abandoned building the other day. Some kind of audio. You heard? People, people say the, the night runners are back. Hi, uh, looking for Bart. Can you tell me anything about him? Well, for one, you're not his type. Wait, wait, what? Relax, honey. I was just pulling your leg. The look on your face, my. To answer your question, I can tell you that Bart is as fine a man as I've ever known. High praise, I know, but I'm not just talking his looks. He's brave, kind, caring, loves children. Especially Andy's son, Liam. Andy? Bart's bestie, Andy. Those two are like two peas in a pod. And Liam, he's, well, like a spring pea, I guess. How Bart dotes on that boy. Hmm, so where can I find him? Probably at Andy's. They had a few of us up for some cool drinks just yesterday. Such kind souls. Up? Where? Andy's place is over there. Not far. You can get there quicker if you're any good at climbing. Yeah. <laughs> good to know. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. You tell those boys I said hi. Ever since I started listening to Free People's Radio first thing in the morning... This belongs to. I can't be far. Huh. Steve. What does this mean? Looks like I'm in luck. Let's have ourselves a little chat. Introductions are in order. Your Bart, I presume. How can I help you? By giving back what you stole. You're mistaken. I haven't stolen anything. Wrong answer. You want to try that again? Though, truth be told, I'm happy to bait the info out of you. <sighs> Doc, Aiden here. You familiar with some guy named Steve? You mean Slippery Steve? What's he got to do with Bart? 
I don't like the sound of that. But sure, I know Steve. Haven't you met him? He comes to the canteen most nights. Stay close to your radio. I'll let you know when he shows up. You two can have a chat then. Thanks, Doc. Aiden out. Are you just standing there? left me no choice, Frank. I see. I guess it was inevitable. Miserable bastard. <laughs> How can you bastard? I'm this close to drinking again because of you for all the good times and bad. But I'm not going backwards. I'm not gonna fall down that hole again. Yeah. Sleep well, friend. I've contacted some of the Night Runners, Aiden. Those who are still alive. Killian should be here anytime soon. But Killian from Old Villador? Same one. Speaking of Old Villador, you have to get to the bazaar, Aiden. She's waiting for you. Waiting for me? Who? The GRE doctor Waltz is probably after. When you mentioned the bazaar, I was able to get in touch with her. She can help you find Mir. Her name is Veronica Ryan. I remember her. She's one of the first people I met after I came to the city. We were acquainted once. She used to come to the canteen. You'll find us somewhere in the vicinity of the church. Good luck, Aiden, with everything. Rather be stuck in an elevator with a viral than at a table with a PK. Veronica won't wait for you forever. Lawan and Frank make quite the pair, an alcoholic and a junk. Trust the night runners. <laughs> Killian is all right, I reckon. You'll you'll see how much better my stuff is in no time. Powerful stuff, hombre. is your oyster. 
That's a mighty fine choice. That is all yours, sweetie. Yeah. Steve just rolled in. He's in the main room with a deck of cards, scrawling his name on the Jokers. So, this card belonged to you? <laughs> well, it sure does. Where'd you find it? How may I serve you? Well, you can serve me by telling me what you know of Bart and Andy. Never heard of them. Even if I had, I take client confidentiality very seriously. And I take finding them very seriously. How seriously? Stop fucking with me. You want something for the info? Say it. Wasn't asking for charity. Uh, well, that changes everything. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what you need to know. But? But, you gotta do something for me in return. First. Yeah, like what? Like? Oh, I don't know. Oh, give me a sec. <laughs> I wanna come up with something good. If you're just gonna waste my time, I... Uh, hold up, hold up. <sighs> okay. Almost got it. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. I know what you need to do. <laughs> you gotta sing. Excuse me? You look like you got a set of pipes on you. Let's do your belt one out. Ballad, upbeat number, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Rap. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> if you want me to tell you about Bart, then you'll do it. That's ridiculous. Judging by your reaction, might be therapeutic. <laughs> you got the music in you. Let it out. You can't be serious. Last chance to get what you want. Rap like no one's listening. Although everyone in this place most certainly will be. Fine. I'll do it. See if you can lay it down. Talk to me, bro. They call me a pilgrim. It means I've been around. Let me tell you that Villador's one badass town. Biomarkers are dope. They give people yeah. hope. And that giant cathedral makes me feel like a pope. Epic, brother. Simply epic. <laughs> the top of this town to the waters below. There ain't no place in this city that I can't go. Yeah, I got mad skills and quite a few kills. Yeah. You can pay me to help you, but I ain't no ho. All right, all right, all right. I say ass, you say white. I say ass, you say white. I say ass, you say white. I say ass! What? That's right. That's wrong, dude! I'm looking for bros! We are all survivors in this town without pity. Some of it is ugly, but there's plenty that's pretty. Day or night, every weather, 
We're in this together. Yeah. It's a lesson I've learned as a pilgrim in the city. Testify! Testify! <laughs> oh man, you are a health quick, Aiden! You gotta get going! You're eating him up! Why not? Gotta give the people what they want, right? Yeah. They call me a miracle, a lyrical shotgunner. Here to regale you with the tale of the night runners. They sided with the people at the time of the fall. Yeah! And I think you'll agree that the story is a starter! Don't enter my seat, man! Totally! First we got virals. They're biting baby beasts. Then volatiles and biters on your flesh they will feast. If you're high in the air, fancies give you a scare. Yeah. And that's just a little sample of a chemically disease. Taking me there, man. Genius. Villador is the worst. You see? Villador is the worst. Villador is the worst. Villador is the worst. You see? Villador is the worst. Surely we must all be cursed because Villador <laughs> is the worst. Yeah. Especially when we're dying of thirst. You know. My friend. The only night runner left is Frank and the fish shy. Drowning in booze, the only way he can get by. But maybe he'll cope, cause in his heart there is hope. Yeah. To bring back the night runners to him would be so fly. So fly, man. So, so fly. Props to you, my brother. You got Mad Mike skills. Now, come on, man. Let's talk. I call an unforgettable performance. Gotta admit, when I asked you to sing, I was yanking your chain. <laughs> but that was perfect. You're gonna tell me what I need to know, or I'm... No, oh, right away. <laughs> no further delay. Uh, fine. <laughs> your Bobsy twins hired me to make sure they and their kid got to the Colonel safely. Paid well, easy job, really. But we ran into a peacekeeper patrol along the way. Nasty bunch. Your boys freaked the hell out, worried about the kid, and had me leave them right then and there. I mean, what do I care? They paid me up front. Anything else? Nope, that's it. You sure? Believe me, I'd love to drop another quarter in the jukebox for one more song, <laughs> but I'm being honest here. That's all I know. All right then, tell me where you left them. Um, there's an old coffee shop, not far from here, by the off-ramp from the E12, by a metro stop. You can figure it out from there. Signs of a fight. Recent, too. Very recent. Oh, the weapon broke. Looks familiar.
They're hiding nearby. Based on this, they gotta be. What do you want? Whoa, calm down. I'm just here to talk. You look familiar. You Bart? Yeah. You're Aiden. Demire sent you. Yeah, she told me to find you and get back what you stole. But I talked to Stach and more than a few others about you. Made me think there's more to this situation than meets the eye. Meyer tried, but she couldn't help. I couldn't take it anymore. Day after day. Will you two keep it down? Liam's asleep in the next room. But whatever your personal issues are, desertion and theft are serious. She plans to send her men for you. She'll get a lot of volunteers for the search team. I'll be executed on the spot if they find me. Probably why she sent you. Give me a running start. So, you did steal the map. It isn't a map, per se, but tells the location of some secret PK stash. Weapons, I bet. It's all I can think of to offer in exchange for the Colonel granting safe haven to the three of us. I see. Like hell. People like you never do. You never see. Andy, stay out of this. It's too late for that. You know it. Fuck this map or stash or whatever the fuck it is. The PK are the monsters here. Surely you understand. You'd have taken this from me by now if you didn't. Is that what you think? I do. If you go back to Meyer and tell her you've killed us, I'll give you the coded message. And my dog tags. Do this. Please. Just let us be. I sympathize. But desertion and theft are serious crimes and I have a job to do. Please. This isn't desertion. This is survival. Not just for me, but Andy and Liam as well. Would you please just help us? None of you deserve this. Least of all, Liam. I'll help you. Oh, thank God. Andy. Give Aiden the message and my dog tags. It's okay. If you say so. I had planned on going to the ship's library and finding a book or two that could help me decipher it. But things went south real quick. I didn't have time to check. Maybe I'll check. I'm curious what this is all about. Just don't get caught, or you'll be right behind us. Assuming you don't get caught, you'll never see us again. You're better off not going to the Colonel anyway. You know they call him the Butcher, right? We don't have a choice. What do you do? We'll stay here for now. Till we figure out what to do next. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. If I could find you here, others could just as easily. You should keep moving. You're right. We gotta keep a low profile in any case. But at least we're alive. And we'll be together. I wish you all luck. Take care. Looks like we got a real party going on here. You're Clint's man, I gather. Yep. 
He were kidding. You're a real bloodhound to track these pervs down like you did. Wait there. I'll handle this. Well, look who we have here. So you killed our boss, huh? Well, there's no hard feelings. That just means we get a bigger piece of the bounty pie. It'll certainly be a bigger share with you out of the picture. You gonna walk away, or have we gotta convince you? Violently. You talk tough. Think you can back that up? Oh, we're gonna back it up, all right. Kill him! You're safe. They can't hurt you now. If only that was the last of our worries. Don't talk like that. We're alive, thanks to Aiden. I suppose. What'll happen to us now? One step at a time, Andy. Let's get packing. Quickly. Good idea. You don't want anyone else finding you. I thought our chances against renegades were pretty good. Now, not so sure. So boring today. And then I stopped Don't fishing, bother me. But I intend to I'm pick thinking. it up again. You're back. And? And your boy Clint was a real charmer. Thanks for that. Look, I had to double down on finding Bart. Tell me you found him at least. I did. And? Here's his dog tags. He's a little too dead right now to need them anymore. But Aiden, you weren't supposed to kill him. Even I wasn't gonna let that happen. He attacked me. I had to defend myself. I, I see. But the map, 
Tell me you at least got the map. Nope. Fuck. What happened to it? Now, from what I can tell, he realized he was in over his head and ditched it. The whole point had been to keep the boy safe, and he played it wrong. Damn it. Not knowing where it is could be worse than knowing it fell into enemy hands. If it don't make you feel any better, you can send a team to where I found him. Building not far from the freeway overpass. That'll help. Won't stop the shitstorm if we still can't find the map, though. Sounds rough. Forget about it. Just get out of here. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna break this shit to Matt. Okay, then. I'll catch you later. Hey, Albert. I got a question for you. You know I appreciate a curious mind, my boy. Ask away. Do you have any books on ciphers or code breaking? Oh, a fascinating subject. Um, are you familiar with Alan Turing? He pioneered code breaking, and in fact is considered the man who invented computers back in World War II. Brilliant man. And what thanks did he get from his government? Chemical castration and an ignoble death. Poor man. Well, um, just looking for some books, Albert. Of course, of course. Looking to be more useful to the PK, are you? By all means. From what I can see, this book on the Bacon Cipher should do the trick. And I have another two volumes on codes, if you're feeling studious. You'll be able to find them on the shelves nearby. All right, thanks, Albert.